Oh, he has it. He has it. Oh, oh my God, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God. There's like 10 right here. Oh. <gasps> Something just got me. Oh my god! Now let me show you guys what I got rigged up right now, what I bought at Walmart. So this is getting very serious. Today is a very serious day, people. Today we're going to catch some giant double digit bass and I am not playing by this all right I'm going to get me some revenge on old monster that I lost you know a few weeks back he's got it no. so today the first thing we got to do is obviously go to Walmart we did that I got some oatmeal if you guys are wondering why I have oatmeal I'm gonna throw some on top of the water just to attract some bluegill if I have to we got some biscuit dough that's a secret weapon today this is what I used to use when I was a kid when I was a little boy you absolutely smack fish on that got some little split shots right there bobbers then we got some of these old little little baby hooks this is what I used to use when I was a kid guys I am not I'm like a bass fisherman with artificial lures like I, I don't go use live bait that's just not what I do so if you guys have some tips for me, leave them in the comment section below. This is just not me. I'm going to do have some braid. I'm going to put on my bait caster. And then I have like multiple different style hooks. So it's kind of weird, all right? As you guys can tell right there. That's that's going to go for like to hook the bluegill. This is the problem. Is like this bass, bass per shots. This Walmart here has a lot of saltwater stuff. And they really didn't have what I needed. So I just kind of got what, you know, I think might work. That's, that's, that's a scary thing. And then some pantyhose. Uh... I really don't know why I have pantyhose. I have no idea, but supposedly it's supposed to help keep this on the hook. I, I don't know. I usually just put biscuit dough on my hook, but there's whatever, guys. Um, the next thing, um, there is a bubble box. If you guys don't know what a bubble box is, it's actually you know a little portable, pretty much like a live well. So I'm gonna put all the live bait in there. It's got a little aerator on it, and uh, it's gonna keep the bait live. So. Our first part to this process is to go catch some bluegill, which I believe is going to be harder to catch the bluegill than the bass. So uh, that is what we're about to go do. We're about to go catch some bluegill. I do have a little rig right here. I got a little bobbers, a few little split shots, which I probably don't need. Then my little hook down there. Then we're going to put the biscuit dough on there and go catch some. Throw maybe some oatmeal in the water, maybe attract some bluegill to the surface. Well, we're going to try to aim for around 5 to 10 bluegill. We need some bait. If we don't catch a lot, then there is a bait shop we might go to. But let's let's go ahead and try to catch some catch the catch the bait first. The best freaking part always scares me. That didn't work at all. This one's got butter. I know I know them bluegill like that. All right, cool. We're ready to go. Struggling so hard to get a bite, and I catch a freaking bass on the biscuit dough. Kicking their bass TV tips right here. Get your biscuit dough on a bobber. He is stuck too. Golly, these hooks, they don't play no games. Does he work as bait? <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you. I could use him as bait, but I'm not that type of guy. I believe in releasing the bass, but look how skinny this uh, this man is. I'm gonna release him, hopefully to get some bluegill because it took a second to catch him. <laughs> That's a freaking slab. Oh man. At this rate, I think we might have to do it. Like I was gonna get some gizzard shad, but this is a monster bluegill, but you guys gotta understand that there's bass in there that are like easy 12 to 15 pounds all over the place. Last time we were there, I put one about this size on there. I mean, this no, that's a little bit bigger than the one I put on, but I don't think he'll hesitate to eat that thing. That's perfect bait right there. That's, that's gonna be a good one. I know it's giant and you guys are thinking I'm crazy, but the fish are this big and you guys are gonna see later on in this video. That's our first bait fish right there. Look at this. I just caught a freaking shad. This is perfect. I cannot believe it. This is the big bass killing machine right here. That is insane. I, this is perfect catch. Let's see if we can catch some more. All right, everybody. I skipped a lot of stuff. So we have one giant bluegill, two huge shad, and then I got two dozen shiners, which are about this big. I can show you guys right here, actually. See? There's a little baby shiners. There's actually two that are dead in there. Uh, let me show you what I got. And the bluegill in there. Oh, that's gonna—that's the juice right there. 
But those are going to be the baits that are really going to get them. I have a couple poles rigged up for the big, you know, big bait. Then, then I have like a little drop shot just for the shiners. I'm not too worried about that. But my big pole that I'm going to put like the huge bluegill on and the huge shad has like this huge hook and I got braid on that. So I'm not, you know, in the last video, a bunch of crazy stuff happened. So we're probably going to start off with some shiners, see what we can do, see what we can catch. And then we'll move over to the big bait for that huge bass. But let's go ahead and get this started. Oh. see any fish but it's so the sun's not out today that is the best bait i can tell you that all right want to go rig your rod up with one what are you gonna do if that thing yanks in the water he won't i got my line clipped i'm just hoping to come back and there would be one on there They got a hard head, I can tell you that. Check my rod. I think mine's dead, he's probably no good. Holy oh. I think there's something on the bottom. Look, look, something just got me. Look, something just got me. Look at him running. Oh my God. I knew something picked him up right when I picked it up. Guys, this is exactly why we came here today, boys. Exactly why we came here. Catching giant bass like that. That's a live shad, look at his stomach. That is the healthiest fish I've seen in a while. Freaking toad. We're gonna get him back in the water. We still got the bluegill, one more shiner, and just see if we can catch some more giants like this. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Godly beautiful fish, first fish of the day. Awesome to be that size. Let's get him back in the water. Oh man, that is awesome, baby. Look at that, guys. Pepper that like button up for that one. You might catch a giant out there. I feel like they're all in the middle now. Looks like. Oh, you got one. Holy crap. Nice, decent. Yeah, they're out there in the middle. On this shiner, a little drop shot rig, barely hooked. Whoop! There he comes out like that. that ain't that ain't too big, about a pound and a half, pound and three quarters. But I'll take him for the second fish of the day. It was right there, first cast on the shiner after messing with the big ones. But let's go back out there. We need, I, we got to catch another giant after that first one, and it's totally possible right now. It's just so beautiful these fish. It's awesome catching them in this cold water like this. Yep, you got him. Oh, I see him. He's like two pounds. I ain't about a pound. <laughs> oh, taking off. There you go. He ain't big. <laughs> First one today, though. All right, boys. This bad boy's about to go on the hook. Probably the biggest bait. I mean, if you guys could tell. I mean, he's bigger. My big as my hand. We're about to see if we can catch one on him. Oh man, got one. Here we go, baby. Nothing big, another small one. Small ones love these little shiners. I won't tingle my drop shot, buddy. Come on, I'm about to release you. About to release you, just calm down. There we go. Simple and easy, that's like the fourth fish. That's a baby. That is crazy how many big ones are in here though. And then you catch something like this, it's just crazy. He's not too much bigger than that shad I put in there earlier. All right, buddy, it is your lucky day, releasing you back in the water. He is still alive, he just took off. That guy's got a lot of energy. At my house now, we just stopped fishing. It was pretty tough, you know, the conditions today, it was super cold, it's cold outside. The sun never peaked, I really wanted that sun to peak, but it didn't. But we are back at my house, as you guys can tell, I got these shiners right here. 
I got a lot left. I bought two dozen, and it seems as if they gave me a lot more. Let's see. See them all right there? But as you guys know, I got a pond in my backyard. And I'm not just going to waste these. I'm actually going to go dump them in my pond. That's something I have not done yet. I do want to do a video. If you guys want to see a video, matter of fact, of me like stocking my pond and putting fish in my pond, be sure to pepper that like button up and leave a comment below. If you guys have not subscribed yet, be sure to click that subscribe button. But let's go ahead and uh, put these guys in my backyard. So bird dookie on the ground. I got to be careful with that. Bird dookie everywhere. All right. Release these bad boys. I'm not just going to waste them. Definitely gonna put them. There's a few dead ones. Look at them go. Oh boy, that's gonna be good. You guys wanna see a video of that though? Seriously, me getting a bunch of bait. I wanna just, this is what I really wanna do is I wanna make it to where like I can just come in my backyard and literally feed my fish. Like if I could come back here and let one eat it out of my hand. That would be the craziest stuff ever. To turn that into a video and to start making videos of bass literally just eating in my backyard, that would be sweet. It would make me honestly not even want to fish for them, but we should do that for sure. If you guys want to see that, let me know, seriously. But uh, if you guys want to see another video of me going back to this pond, a little live bait video, and actually going back with a lot of big bait, I think if we go back on a different day, we'll have a lot more opportunities to catch some big fish. That big one I caught, that giant, was on that shiner and then a uh, giant bluegill. The bluegill surprisingly didn't get eaten. I did see a fish like chasing it and kind of going up behind it, but I just think the fish were a lot slower than they should have been. Um, like I said, if we go out on another day, it will happen. But if you guys want to see another one, be sure to pepper that like button up. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it. I upload like three videos a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday is my schedule currently. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for the support. I love you guys so much. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I got sky like the weatherman, uh I crack cars, get hella bands, uh I got a bra from the motherland, uh I got shooters with hands, uh I get it, get it, uh Anyway, uh Pull up skirt in the hurricane, uh I crack cars, cook every day, uh I get money, uh Every day, uh